Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. This video is going to be my July favorites and August intentions video. So I'm going to share with you a few of my favorite things from the month of July and two intentions that I have to better improve myself for the month of August. So let's get into it. So my first favorite for the month of July was this book called Creative Visualization by the author Shakti Gawain. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. I've seen a few other YouTubers talking about this and putting it on their list of their top 10 favorite books. So I thought I would check it out and I absolutely loved it. If you're not familiar with the concept of manifesting things or using the law of attraction and meditation and other general clearing processes, I think this book is a really great introduction and it gives you a lot of helpful tips. And and yeah, I really found this book interesting. I would read like a chapter of it before I went to bed and always felt spiritually enlightened, but it caused me to look into other books. So I recently got a few more books related to this topic. So maybe they'll make it into future favorite videos for me, but I will let you know. I got this for super cheap on Amazon. I'm pretty sure it was less than $10. So if you can't get it from your library for free, I would definitely recommend purchasing it, even a used copy. Is definitely a helpful book and I will see myself going back to it in the future so I am glad that I purchased it. So if you're a subscriber you've probably heard me talk about this multiple times but my next year for the month of July is all of the mangoes that are in Miami. So if you're not from this area there are tons of mango trees in Miami and people like just have them on the side of the road and on my bike ride to school mangoes are just falling everywhere and I would get so many free mangoes and I swear these are the best mangoes I've ever had in my life. Mangoes taste so much better when they're ripened from a tree and Honestly, I don't even want to think about how many mangoes I got. It's probably somewhere like the high 40s to 50s. I'm not even kidding. I got a lot. And I was eating mangoes like almost every day. But the season is over now and it's actually kind of sad because these are my last two mangoes that I have fresh. But I also stocked up. I have a gallon sized freezer bag full of other chopped mangoes that I collected throughout this month. So I'll just be enjoying those when my mango cravings end. But I will say I don't hate mangoes. But I am ready for a break after eating multiple ones every day. Like I still love them but I'm not going to miss them when I can't have them every day, if that makes sense. My next favorite is buckinis or buckwheat groats, as other people would say. This is, my nose is itchy. So buckwheat groats or buckinis is buckwheat, essentially. It's the grain of buckwheat that is raw. I'll do a close up so you guys can see what they look like. So this is what they look like. I really like buckwheat because it has a crunchy texture and a slightly nutty flavor to it. It's kind of hard to describe, but if you've had buckwheat, you'll know what I'm talking about. You can usually find these pretty cheap at your grocery store. So I've been using these as toppings for my smoothie bowls when I don't want granola some mornings. I'll just use this instead because it's crunchy and you can eat it raw. You can also soak these overnight and eat them like that or even cook them and it's kind of a porridge consistency. And buckwheat is gluten free. Technically it's not a grain, it's actually a seed I believe. I hope I'm correct in saying that. If not, someone will correct me in the comments. But yeah, I really enjoy it. I think it's delicious. And I use plain buckwheat sometimes but I also have these caramelized buckinis that one of my friends sent me from Australia. Those are almost gone though, but I do have a few other buckwheat mixes. I've also been thinking of trying to make my own. So let me know if you guys are interested in like maybe a recipe for some buckwheat granola or something. My next favorite for the month of July is actually a song. To be honest, I don't really listen to music a lot in my free time because I really don't have that much free time. And when I do have free time, I usually turn it into productive time and I work on Instagram or YouTube. So most of the music that I listen to is just me searching on SoundCloud for songs to use in YouTube videos. However, I do really enjoy listening to music, so I've been trying to, you know, take a step back, relax a little, and listen to music. And so recently I've been listening to a lot of Trevor Hall. He is an artist who I have loved for years. One of my really good friends from high school introduced me to him. He was actually the first concert I ever went to. But my specific favorite for the month of July is the song Indigo. It's off of his new album, Kala, I believe. I think all of his music is honestly magical and it's just so meditative and calming and I love listening to it when I'm stressed out. But something about this song in particular just seriously struck a chord with me and I was like almost tearing up just because I thought it was so beautiful and I have listened to it like constantly, like probably at least once a day within the past two weeks or so. Um, but you guys should definitely check it out. I'll put a link for the song in the description of this video for sure and 
yeah, I don't know. It's just incredible, and you all should definitely check out Trevor Hall. I feel like he's a very underappreciated musician. And then my final favorite for the month of July is not really an object, it's more of an experience. So a few weekends ago, I went on a day trip to the Florida Keys with some of my friends, and I had never been to the Florida Keys before, and they're absolutely beautiful. I've never seen water that clear in person before in my life. I'll insert some pictures here. Um, but it was just really nice. I thought the area was completely beautiful, but I was also really happy that I got to spend a day with my friends and, you know, sort of take a day off of studying and just relax and focus on spending time with real physical people instead of worrying about social media or studying for my classes. So it was really nice to just unwind and, I don't know, it was just a really awesome day. So that sums up my favorites for the month of July, and now I'm going to move on to my intentions. And for those of you who don't know, at the end of every video, I like to include two intentions that I am going to try to keep in mind for the upcoming month to better improve myself, and I hope that me sharing my intentions with you inspires you to make a positive change in your life. So my first intention for the month of August is to journal more regularly. I really do like journaling and I think it's a very good way to sort of self-reflect and relax at the end of the evening or in the morning. However, I just seem to always forget to do it. I have one of those books that asks you a question every day for five years and to be completely honest, some days I'll forget. More like five days in a row, I'll forget. And then I just filled in like I was actually on that day. So I really wanna to try to make an effort to actually journal every day. And besides answering like questions in a book, I would like to try to write more because I do think it's a sort of creative release for me and I would like to get into it. But you know, sometimes in the morning, you're just focused on other things and it kind of slips your mind and then you don't realize that you even forgot about it. My second intention for the month of August may seem a little odd, but it's to let myself relax. Now, as you have probably gleaned from my channel, I'm a very busy person. I am a graduate student, so I have a lot of classes right now, but I still remain relatively active on social media. I mean, I have an Instagram account, I try to post three videos a week on YouTube, and I'm working on other things like a recipe book and other projects in my mind, like almost constantly. So for me, when I do have free time, like I already mentioned, I tend to just devote it to another project that I could work on because in my mindset I'm always like oh but like I could always do more instead of you know I need to take a step back and relax and focus on myself. So this month of August I feel like is a really good month for me to practice this intention because I do have a three week break from my classes and I will be going on vacation so I'm still going to be active on social media and stuff but I would like to try to make a conscious effort to relax a little more and you know just enjoy life and enjoy the present moment instead of constantly being focused on things that I could be planning for the future. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful and let me know a favor you have for the month of July and intention that you're going to set for yourself for the month of August in the comments below and I'm very excited to read them and interact with you guys a little more. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!